Hi, I'm Madison Mary and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, please don't hesitate to click that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get into my May TBR. So I'm very excited for May. I have um, <laughs> yeah, quite a few reading plans. Will I go through them all? I don't know. That's why I'm not going to share all of them with you because <laughs> that would be embarrassing. But I will share with you the ones that I 100% no, I will be completing. So I am doing two readathons in the month of May. And if you're wondering what I'm messing with right now, I have a little announcement. So I think it was ooh, a month ago now that I became a rep for Dear Writer Co. They have an Etsy shop and a website. They are really awesome. They do a lot of bookish themed clothing. So they do a bunch of different t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, not tank tops, like the Razorback kind of tank toppy things. You know what I'm talking about. But they have some really awesome designs and they're very much fandom focused. There are a couple that are more just like bookish focused, but I adore the things that I have gotten. We have a Grishaverse t-shirt, which has the Grisha symbol on it. And this comes also as a crew neck, which is so exciting. Then there is, this is probably my favorite. <laughs> I have a maroon shirt that says proud smut reader on it. Is that not me? Am I not just like the proud smut reader? Like, come on. You can also get this as a Razorback and also a sweatshirt. And then we have, the white balance is gonna mess up on this, but we have Valkyrie in training. And then it says novice and blade on the sides. I got all mine in a size small, just because that's the size that fits me best. I also have another one, but it's in the wash the moment and it says the night court on it. I adore these and I have a code, which is princess10 that you can use to get 10% off. So I'd highly recommend checking them out. But without further ado, let's get into my May TBR. So I have four arcs to read in the month of May, and I'm also participating in the Asian Readathon hosted by Cindy at Read with Cindy, and also Do the Thingathon, which is <laughs> Do the Thingathon, <laughs> which is hosted by Ashley at A Frolic Through Fiction. Now, Do the Thingathon is the last week of May, and there's no real like prompts for it. The th prompts for it are decide to do something for that readathon and do it. So one thing she said was that you can do like maybe the goals that you had at the beginning of the year and your goals video or like your five step prediction video, like something to do with that. But one of my big goals for this year was to read through my backlist, to read just the books already on my TBR and to read more diversely. So that's going to be my main goal for that week. So the Asian Readathon takes place throughout the entire month of May because it's Asian American Pacific Island month. But there are five prompts for this readathon. I will have everything linked below in the description box, by the way. For the first two prompts, read any book by an Asian author and read any book with an Asian protagonist. I am doing Honey, an Issues Guide to Fake Dating. This is by Adiba Jaikridar, and I'm so excited for this. This is an arc. It comes out on the... 25th of May. So we follow Hani and she comes out and says that she's bisexual to her friends, but she's only ever dated men. So everyone's like, but are you really bisexual? So forced to prove her sexuality, she confronts Ishu and asks if she can fake date her so that everyone can kind of see that, yes, she's bisexual. Clearly she can date women too. So in return for fake dating Hani, Ishu asks her to help her become popular. That's what this is about. It's fake dating. And also Adiba is Bangladeshi and Irish. So that is the Asian ethnicity for this book. For the third prompt, which is to read any book by an Asian author that is in your favorite genre, my favorite genre. It's between fantasy and romance. So I could have technically picked Honey and Issue, but I wanted to pick a fantasy book because that's just like one of my main genres. And so for that, I'm doing Forest of Souls by Laurie M. Lee. Laurie M. Lee is Hmong. This book is actually inspired by the Hmong culture and mythology to do with that. So in Forest of Souls, we follow Shiosha and she is training to become the queen's spy until she ends up bringing her friend back to life. And it turns out that she is a soul guide. It has been centuries since a soul guide has existed. And now the spider king is demanding for her to work for him because he has been trying to control the Deadwoods for ages, which is where like ghosts and souls are, but he's starting to lose his grip on it. So he needs her to help him with the souls that are in there and to help quell the growing forest. I've heard amazing things. A lot of my friends have given it four to five stars. And so I know I'm going to adore it. And then for prompts four and five, which is to read a nonfiction and then to read a book that is 
non-US centric. I am doing The Girl With Seven Names and this is about a young woman who grew up in North Korea and just her life in this very brutal communist regime and how at the age of 17 she decides to escape North Korea and then it actually takes her an entire 12 years from the time that she plans to escape to ever be reunited with her family. I'm not sure if I'm going to read it physically or listen to it on audiobook yet because I do have some traveling to do in May but we shall see. So those are the three books that I'm reading for the Asian Readathon. For Do The thing a thon <laughs> I still keep laughing at that name. Like I said, I wanna read more diversely. I want to read from my backlist and I wanna read from my own TBR. So Forest of Souls counts for all of those. Then I have three arcs apart from Honey and Issue. I have Broken Web by Laurie Emily. This is the sequel to Forest of Souls, so. Don't need to go more into that. <laughs> then I'm so excited. Okay, these next two come out on June 1st. We have Jay's Gay Agenda by Jason June. I'm so excited for this. This is like one of my top anticipated books to come out this year. So we're following Jay. He lives in a rural small town in Washington. All of his friends have these really exciting and fun heterosexual relationships, but he's the only gay kid in town. So he has like this whole bucket list of gay things he wants to do eventually when he has the chance to. And then suddenly his family up and moves from their rural town of Washington to Seattle, Washington. And he gets this new high school. He's around all these different people and he can finally put into place his gay agenda. He also begins to realize that like, he does miss his old friends and it's dealing with, you know, the changes that he's going through. I'm so excited and I've heard it's super sex positive, which I'm always looking for in my YA novels. It's really important to me because I feel like a couple years ago, we really never saw YA books talk about sex and it's, it's really, it's really important. It's really important. So very pumped. And then also on June 1st is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. So in this world, witches can control the climates and they can control mostly the season of their birth. However, over the last couple of years, it seems that their power is becoming more erratic and very unpredictable. And we are following Clara, who is an ever witch, which means that her power isn't tied to any one season. She actually is powerful in all four of the seasons and it's very volatile magic. And we're just basically following her story. I can't really tell like exactly what the rest of it is going to be about. I'm excited. It is a bit thicker than I was expecting, so it's all good. Then for just like general reading for the month, I do have, I have two tentative secret TBR videos, but things have been hectic. Oh, I, fun fact, I got an internship. I don't know when I'm starting yet, but I did land an internship. So I will be starting that. It is around 20-ish hours a week. So my life is gonna be changing up a little bit in the month of May. I'm not sure yet how. So I think I misled some people. I finished the academic portion of my master's program. I'm done with that, no more classes to take, but I still have to write my thesis. So I still have that. And so I should be done with my thesis, hopefully by December of this year. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I never wanted to write a thesis, but it's okay. So yeah, I do want to read some historical romances in the month of May. I don't know exactly what those are going to be yet, but I do plan on doing like a vlog for that when it occurs. So that's like a tentative TBR. And then I do have a very exciting secret TBR if I can get to it, because things have been all over the shop. But if I do get to it, I think you guys are going to love it. I'm so, I'm just... It's one I'm so excited for. So even though I keep having to push it off, it's still at the top of my like two film list. So yes, that's it for this May TBR. Let me know if you're participating in the Asian Readathon or do the Thingathon. Like I said, I'll leave the links all in the description box. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button down below. If you wanna see more of me, please go to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch everyone. Bye-bye.